Today we're headed up to the Rubicon Trail. Uh, nobody knows where we're going, they're just following us blindly, so we got a cool little route wrapping around. We're bypassing Tahoe, work our way around a scenic route, and then end up in Rubicon right at Loon Lake. Stage there, and then we'll head out and uh, spend one night on the trail. Okay, day two, we're about to head out on the Rubicon. Uh, everybody's excited. Some people have never done the trail before, so we're really looking forward to it. If you own a four-wheel drive vehicle, you haven't gone wheeling until you've done the Rubicon. So awesome day on the Rubicon. We started the trailhead right about 10:30, 11, and we made it to Rubicon Springs by 4:30. Yeah, so usually nobody knows where we're going. So when we headed towards uh, Tahoe, everybody kind of figured they knew where they're going on the Rubicon. So that's why we did the bypass, and uh, everybody is super excited by the last gas stop that they're going on the Rubicon. It was uh, a lot more rocky than I thought it would be. It being a, a county road and it being a very common trail, you wouldn't think it'd be so difficult, but it's it's tough. The technicality of the rocks was a little bit more intense this time, but it was great. Rubicon, man, you can't can't complain about running the Rubicon. Challenge was good, uh, but the scenery was just incredible. The trees and the, and the mountains and the, and the rocks, it was just great. I'd love to come back. Pretty epic, no real big failures. Only myself, I broke a tie rod in our drag link. Uh, everybody else pretty much rode perfectly. Uh, we did have one issue on the camera car. We, we, we uh, pulled out a bottom plug on, on, uh, on a diff. Uh, clamped that oil, we're all good. Uneventful, just epic scenery, great group of people. We roll up to the campsite, uh, I think they call it Dirty Dozen, it's pretty cool, it's epic. It's on private property, you actually cross the river, uh, really uh, kind of a waiting area per se, and then they have campgrounds on the other side, fire pits, we even have some tables. Uh, there's some rocks, people are taking showers out there, you know, bathing out there. Crew got together, we did a simple weenie roast for everybody on, on, the, uh, on the trip, so there's a bitching campfire right there. We just handed out sticks and hot dogs, had the condiments out there. So we got everybody together on that first camping night, uh, meeting new friends forever. Next morning we got up early from the ending of Rubicon Springs up Cadillac Hill to Tahoe. It's not really that long of a distance, but if somebody breaks on the hill, you could be there all day, literally all day. We made it up to the top of the hill in 30 minutes, so it was awesome. We could order a pizza. I don't remember the technical difficulty that we ex that we experienced this time, especially on Cadillac Hill. It just seems to me in my memory that we drove right up Cadillac Hill with very few issues. Uh, and this time, you better be watching your P's and Q's. First JK Expo, watched all the videos, super excited to be here. I can't imagine what we're doing next. Uh, we've already done the Rubicon, so uh, I'm excited to see what's up.
our photo shoot at the top, just absolutely awesome. Nobody had any issues on the trail for that area up. And then we headed over to the staging area on the Tahoe side. So we got to the staging area about three hours ahead of time. Uh, so what we had to do was we had to figure out some areas we couldn't even check into our hotel. Again, nobody knows where we're going, so we couldn't check into our hotel because we're actually ahead of schedule, which is awesome, but also a problem when you got 20 vehicles behind you wanting something to do. We just got off the Rubicon. Uh, it was Exodus Jeep, Bubba's Jeep. Um, but yeah, we're getting back together. Not a big, not a big deal. And we'll be back on trail soon. Uh, he's running a three link on the top and, and takes a lot of load. The top bolt broke, so nothing wrong here, but top bolt broke. It's off. So they're able to find the bolt. They have enough parts here. We're able to drill out the misalignment a little bit, drill out the arm a little bit, and go to the next side and figure on the bolt. So we should be good for a little bit. Uh, we'll keep checking that bowl all week though. We went ahead and there's a local park uh, outside of Tahoe, Twin Peaks I believe it's called. Uh, and so Eddie and Cindy were nice enough to guide us up there. That's in their backyard. So we went ahead on their, on their marked trails and uh, there's a couple rock obstacles. So we took them up there, killed about an hour and a half. Everybody got to test out the four wheel drive, some big loose rocks, actually some quite tough stuff out there right next to Tahoe, so I, I, it, was, it was neat to go see that. Oh, dude, it's freaking awesome. It's been great. Yeah, we've been uh, going on some cool trails. Uh, really pretty view so far. That's probably my favorite part so far, is the views and uh, the friends, like just hanging out with good people, enjoying our time together. Getting to do Cadillac Hill was uh, was incredible. It was technical, it was fun, it was a blast. Oh, Rubicon Trail is a bucket list item. Uh, just to be able to get out there and as Mel calls it, God's country. It's beautiful. Um, it's good for the spirit. It was awesome.